Hey the Madudes, it's Laddie here, and welcome to another eerie video inside a tunnel. And it goes down by like 100%. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we. I'm gonna have to find this. Shit. Here's a toast to dying tonight. Here's a toast for dying in the woods, and then if we don't die in the woods, dying of being possessed through the exorcism. Either Cheers. way, we're gonna die. Either way, we're dead. <laughs> Come on, kids, let's get the party started. <laughs> These are the kids, not you. Hey, the dudes, I am Laddie, and welcome to another video. So, in this video, we are gonna die. <laughs> I don't know how it's posted if we die. I think I'll call a friend and get them to post it. And So this video is, um, I'm joined with my trusty friends and um, children, um, brother Daniel. <laughs> and I thought it was Sister Joyce. And one reminder. <laughs> no, this is Danny. Not to be mistaken with daddy because we all know who that really is. <laughs> and this is um, a person known as Josh. Um, in this video, it's a very serious video. Very serious video. My house is haunted by a little Satan child that lives in my attic. That's not a fact. That's a, that was just a prediction as to um, what's happening. Okay, right, I'll tell you the story. I'll tell you the creepy story. We have ambient lighting, we have a candle. Which I'm currently set a front of, so that's that really gonna, placed well, isn't it? That I'm gonna pick up and burn the house down. <laughs> okay, scary ambient music here. Imagine the ambient music right now. Okay. In my, in my attic, I, one thing, we'll, we'll, we'll start, we'll start with the beginning. I moved here a few months ago and, um, I, one night when I was going to, um, when I was going to sleep, I was just drifting off, as you do any other night, and I was suddenly awoken by the sound of heavy footsteps above me in the roof. And they weren't just like fucking jumping rats. flaming jumping rats. There was two, and they were going one after the other to make it sound like footsteps. There were two heavy footsteps, and so I first thought, I thought, okay, it could be anything. It could be like really fat pigeons. Wind. Or, no, it was not wind. It was not, wind would not make that noise. And so I was like, no, okay. No. And then I, I freaked out first. I was like, fuck is that? It sounds like someone's walking. First I thought someone was walking in the hallway or something, but it did sound like it was directly above me, but I checked the whole place, no one was there. And then I went back, sat back down to sleep, turned off the light again, and then it walked, like, it sounds like someone's getting up and walking in the attic. And I was freaking out, right? Because this was the second time and it was like late at night and I'm, I'm all alone. And yeah, I'm all alone, so I was just like, yeah. And then I I, I, I looked everywhere. I couldn't, I couldn't see anything. And then it, it happened a few more times where I could hear something walking around directly above me. I like, my neighbors, uh, it's not my neighbors. Maybe there's you've no got one a flat outside. above the flat, you didn't even there's, know that. There's no one, because it's an attic just above here. And so I was just like, I don't know what I the know fuck. I've seen it. It's, yeah, you've seen it, but I don't know what the fuck is happening. And I was like, What's, what, what is going on? I'm sorry, I don't trust myself. Okay, yeah, it's fine. You can put it down now. We're okay. <laughs> but creepy shit's happening. So later on, we're gonna exercise my house. I will show you the quick videos of um, us actually trying to look up in the attic that Josh um, <laughs> and um, Harvey slash Michael um, <laughs> did when we were around the other day, and uh, that didn't turn out. But we got some video of it. We got someone really lost their trousers. <laughs> someone really lost their yeah, well, Have you been it seen was, the videos? No, no, uh, no, I'll show you them sometime, they're, they're quite funny. But yeah, I'll show those now. Okay, well, uh... Hey there, my dudes. What? Hey there, my I dudes. I said, hey there, my dudes. <laughs> okay, well, oh my god, focus. Okay, well, let's go see if there's a demon in my at- Oh my god, that's scary. Hey, well... Are you filming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> okay, well, um... That's the attic door in question. Oh, something fell out. <laughs> I shout myself. It was too scary for one night. That was it now. 
Oh my god, wait, be careful, be careful! Someone hold the camera, be careful with it, please. Smashed it against the wall leaves. Is it recording? <laughs> yeah, it's recording. <laughs> oh. Smile. <laughs> Got used to being on camera, but not like this. I'll Into the bathroom. Bathroom. I'll be there if you fall. Aww. I'll be there for you. You're gonna see my beautiful armpits. Are you yeah, even tall enough? Oh, what? No, I was gonna do it wrong. Okay. Oh my god, you still can't reach it. Oh. Yeah, so I was doing it right, and then you just stopped moaning at me. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, I saw something move. <laughs> oh my god, no. Okay, you guys can go. I'm leaving with you. I'm Take staying at Josh's tonight, not yours. I chose Josh. I've got a king bed, so you can share with me. What the fuck? No, wait. I don't want to catch you. <laughs> Hello? Money. Can he reach that? He can't, he can't reach it. What the fuck is that? Oh, <laughs> what is up here? Hello? Mango's gin. I don't even know where you're going to put shoulders. your hands, mate. No, you don't want to go on Josh's shoulders, you want to go on my shoulders. No, on my shoulders. I've got more experience. You guys are fighting over me, how romantic. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, right. Oh my god, guys, your camera says 666. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you can see this experience. Walk back into the dark room. I don't want to stand up in your room yet. Okay. It's like my hey. sister. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's the... There it is. There's the torch. Okay. Where's the person? Right. It's funny because you're still not going to be able to have a look. <laughs> oh my god, you can't get up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so fun. There we go. No. <laughs> get on the chair. Get on the chair. Get on the chair. Oh my god, Josh, you're weak as fuck. No, it's my legs. Is that it's my <laughs> leg muscle. <laughs> it's still going to work. It's going to work. <laughs> okay, right now, you're still smaller than me. Oh yeah, you're right there. Yeah. <laughs> right. If I get on that chair with <laughs> Josh, come hold the camera. I'll show you how to do it like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not getting on anyone's back. Wait, why can get you up there? Come on. Okay, wait. You need to get on his shoulders. Just get up. I don't try. No. I want you to hurry up. <laughs> uh, no, I can't. Is it... What about that? Is that stable? I guess I can see you break a leg. <laughs> Quite oh, literally. Oh, no. That's not stable. That's not stable. No, that, no, that is not stable. What about that wooden bit there? No, it's okay. We're going to do the hard bit. Yeah, but no, but I what? could raise it like up uh, high enough. Okay, just be careful with it, please. For <laughs> love of all things holy. And don't smash the leg. More than the fact there's a demon. I need to get up there. We need to find a way. You and me, he may need to leave, but we are going to find a way. We're going to find a way. Oh, oh, I'm not using that. Lou dropped the torch. I'm not going to like damage any of these people. Literally. Okay, I've done a full rotation. That's good. Uh, you Should we the check one it? Who... Okay, well, we're back from that few minutes of <laughs> the power of editing. Yeah, but I, I, just kept, I just kept hearing shit and I was getting paranoid. I was like, I, I started every night, I've been like, I haven't, not so much recently, but every night I've been locking, like, putting something against my door, because I'm like, something is, and if you have a look in there, um, in, in my, um, bathroom there, there's like a little panel, and that's where you get up into the, into the attic, because you've seen it, but, but there's just a little panel, and you get up into the attic, but you can't get down from the attic, so you have to push it up to be able to get out, it's like hard to get out. If you're so basically, if you get locked up there... Mm. You're, you're, you're dead. You're <laughs> um, but no, I was like, um, and I kept hearing things, I swear, and I swear things have been going missing from my house, and I've just been freaking out. I've been like, what's going on? There's a fucking ghost or person living in my attic, stealing Have you seen the borrowers? And that apparently, my mum was just like, are you sure it's no. not an attached attic? Because sometimes there's a door that they forget to knock down between the two houses. And I was like, it could be an attached attic, there could be like a door in their attic that could go onto this attic. And I was like, fuck, someone could be getting into my house through the attic. I'm like, that's, that's pretty creepy. Like, and so I, every time I turned the lights off at night, it would happen. Like, just as I turned the lights off, I would hear something walking across the thing. And that's, and then it was, when Harvey was here, he was freaking out because I was in the toilet and he heard something walking just above the, the ceiling. He was like, no, I believe you. I believe you. Because he was shitting himself. He's a bit of pussy though. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Michael. I feel like you guys are gonna. 
You guys are gonna quiet down when we get in the woods. Nah. Woods, like it's I'm not. I don't cool. plan on saying anything. And I was, I was, please don't fuck anyone in the woods. <laughs> I'll try. But Josh can't I promise it. that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the scary story again. <laughs> One of the main things that was really creeping me out because I kept hearing it is one night I had, I was in the middle of the night, I went down to bed and I checked and I couldn't hear any footsteps, I was like, okay. And then I was just drifting off again and I heard the panel, because it's a panel that you oh, push up and you slide. I heard it slide in the bathroom there from my bedroom. I heard the panel opening and sliding. And I was like, and I got, because I, 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 I sit with a knife next to my bed. I, I mean, I'm a live alone. You've got to have the safety. I live alone and- um, That or a baseball bat. <laughs> That's true. And so, so I was just, I was just there sitting in the corner of my bed, like something. It sounds like something come down from the attic. Don't imagine it. Because I heard like burn the place down. <laughs> burn the place down. Anyway, end of the story. We're gonna exercise my house. We're gonna get a Ouija board and do oh, some like we talk to the ghosts. And, and then we're also going into the woods. Go away. You were not going into the woods with that. Oh, All right. right. Um. um, I guess we should just. On to the woods. <laughs> okay, so I am um, Ghost Hunting Gerber. That is my name. I am new to the Call Me Laddie channel, and we are going out into the wilderness to see the ghosts. I am with Brother Daniel, also known as Danny. Orch, never mind. <laughs> oh. And I'm also here with Grinder One Reminder. So let's get off into the woods. The next person that calls me Chelsea gets a punch in the fucking face. <laughs> into the woods. So we are still in my local neighbourhood, but we are off to the woods. <laughs> are you okay, Danny? <laughs> you been... That's really fucking great. <laughs> Have you been possessed? <laughs> Did he fucking drink him? The fact that it's a bit I feel like I need to hold someone's hand. To be fair, he was one of the a van. There's a van. <laughs> okay, so this place, the story about this place is it used to be a place, um, an old war um, aircraft carrier place where they used to keep stuff in the aircraft carriers because um, you can see on the top there's the, there's grass on the top so you can't see any of the and like any of the building so it just looks like it's land I know, I know. and you're looking at me as if I am. yeah but I'm, I'm just telling the story Josh um, and so people say that it's haunted this place because I've lived across there for many years and people have seen some shit going on within these within these walls how do you feel about this Danny I really need to be <laughs> okay we're gonna go in Please let me be behind your hair. Quick, run. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's funny. That's a bit weird when there's so. Yeah, it's like. What do you want to? Okay, so this place. <laughs> Mine. So there's a little door here. Are you joking? Do we have to go. Oh, <laughs> it looks creepy. Danny's house. Maybe we have to go through there, Louise. Yes, we didn't. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we don't. <sighs> okay, so I often come here. Someone just got shot in the woods. <laughs> so we're really not meant to go here. You can see the city from here. Saw something move down there.
What the hell? Where's Toby? Where the hell did Danny go? What the hell, Danny? Hi. What's this all about? <laughs> Couldn't deal with that. I'm done. <laughs> You went home. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> okay, well, rules set up. Ouija board rules. So, grab a few friends. Technically, it can be played alone, but it's best to play with at least one person, especially if it's dark and stormy night. Two people is ideal. More than two, the more hectic it may get. It's more than two is just fine. Make sure everyone stays calm and respectful. Be patient. Be polite. Start simply and also be careful what you wish for. Don't ask silly or stupid questions. Don't ask for physical signs that may ask for trouble. But we're gonna do that. <laughs> I'm the medium for this experiment. For the box board, rub it with soft dry cloth, keep it clean first, dry moisture. That was just an instruction. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hand over one of the candles, not so it burns you, just so you can feel the heat. And now we're gonna calmly say, we, can't, we need to show that we're not mocking the spirit. So we need to calmly say, I welcome spirit. I welcome any spirits that are here. So if we all say it together, three, two, one. I welcome, welcome any spirits. spirits that are here. There we go. And they know, now the spirits know that they are welcome, that we want to find the spirits, and that we respect what the spirits are here for, and that they're here, and we are not trying to mock them, we are just trying to simply view them, and view who they are, and what they want. And now we just need to hold hands with, just, just hold hands away from, and we can just place the hands above the area where the flames are so we can just feel the heat. And we can imagine that the heat is the presence of the spirit. And now that we've allowed the spirits into this circle, place all of your hands onto the planchette and leave it on G. So all we need to do is I'm going to very lightly move it around just say we welcome any spirit. We welcome any spirits. We welcome any spirits. And place it back onto the G. And that is the only ritual. To let the spirits know that they are welcome here. I think your face. Sorry. We'll do it again. We welcome any spirits. Just one more time. I'm sorry. Just so they know that they are welcome. So I am going to be asking any of the questions. What is there any questions that you think that we should ask? I'm just going to say, is anyone here, can you show us any way 
which we're not meant to ask, but it is something that would be nice to ask. Can you show us on the board, if we lightly hold the board, make sure that no weight is on the board, can you show us on the board now, if you are here? Well, nothing's here. That's the end of the thing now. <laughs> The spirit that is either in my attic or in this house, we are not here to mock you, we are simply here to observe you. Can you show us with the candles or moving anything in the house? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we heard it here first, spirits. We've heard it here first. Okay, well I feel like the spirits are actually mocking us and I'm actually kind of scared of the Ouija board. So right now I'm going to close the Ouija board. If we could all put the hands on the Ouija board. Um, I'm actually kind of scared to keep this open. It's like a funny joke. But, um, okay, I am now saying goodbye to the spirits. I just want to let the spirits know that they are free to leave. They're free to leave, not the board but free to leave this realm and goodbye. Right, so that was um, a very interesting evening. The woods were very spooky, I must admit, but um, the, the ghost didn't want to speak to us today other than telling me it wanted me to undress. Um, <laughs> so, yes, that, that, was, that was an intro. You guys are leaving now and I'm going to be alone. Look, look, look in the doorway, it's scary. I'm going to be alone. So I may I'm die. I'm going to sleep very well. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm all alone in this flat. You guys realise. So give us updates, regular updates during the night. Be like, I'm alive. Two a.m. Toby, still alive? <laughs> Toby, are you alive? Still it's alive? Not a, it's not a ghost that killed me. It's the man from the woods who followed me home. Oh my <laughs> that guy. You guys disappeared into that fucking tunnel. And that guy pulled up in front of that gate in his car. And he got out of his car. Like, Shit, guys. <laughs> Some dude just rocked up in a car. <sighs> well. That was a good video. Um, they should like, comment, and subscribe, shouldn't they? They should subscribe to me because I'm an amazing channel, right? No. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Josh, mm -hmm. fucking agree with me. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, bye everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> what are you doing? Give it up with my life. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Someone better not start on the trainers. Front door's open. Oh, Wait, what do you care about is your trainers? My god. <laughs> the hell? Did you shut it when you came in? Oh, I, yeah, I thought I shut it properly, but... Look on the video. Because surely you videoed when you walked in. But I thought I did. Because I didn't video shut, like, if I was shutting the door or not, I video straight ahead, but I thought, well, I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna be awake all night. That's why it was so fucking cold. Yeah. <laughs> Doors open, oh my god. Why not? Oh fuck. Have fun guys! You're my first hit. <laughs> I know. Oh, she's uh, up here. I'm gonna follow you guys. The room doesn't light up no more. <laughs> it's going in the outtakes <laughs> or something. Alright. Well, this has been a neat, fun evening. I'm gonna. It has been. I'm... I hope you don't die. I'm gonna be all alone. Yeah, I might see you. Next oh week. my god, there's a massive fly there. No, I'm not up what? for that. But... Never mind. It's your crane fly, Toby. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Shut the door, please. <laughs> Make sure it's actually. Yeah. No, I'm Bye. I'm scared. I'm all alone now. Hmm. <laughs>